Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today we're going to be talking about a poetry collection called 19 by Mackenzie Campbell. And this is a book I got as an advanced ebook from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review. And I think by now it's out. I think. I honestly have. I'm not good at release dates. But anyway, let's begin. <laughs> So this book is a collection of prose and poetry and it's titled After the Age Campbell Was When She Wrote It. And this is also the first collection of hers that I've read. I know there's another one, which is, the, the title is t A Time, I don't remember. But I know there is another one and it's got a lot of positive feedback. So given her age when she was writing this, because I'm also 19 now, and the writing's very well done. And there's a lot of stuff that, if I think about my abilities as a writer, like, I couldn't do a lot of that. So there's a lot of it that is impressive coming from an author of the same age. But I think for me, a lot of it lacks the kind of emotion that I rely on when it comes to enjoying poetry. And a lot of the subject matter didn't really appeal to me. Um, I'm not really overly interested in poems that are centred around um, love and heartache. But there are some in this book that are like nostalgia and life lessons. And they're the ones that really stood out to me. So when I was going through this, I highlighted in the ebook lines that I did and didn't like. But, oh, it's a bit dark here. Wow. <coughs> yeah, I highlighted a lot of lines that I did and didn't like. But I think I didn't really use like, different colours to differ differentiate between the two. So we're just going to guess that some lines that I did like are as follows. Time and nostalgia both have a way of colouring a memory into something grander than it was. Every city I discover, every treasure I uncover, every friend and every lover paints me blues and reds and yellows. I will make a constellation out of words and name it after you. And a lot of themes in these lines are basically colours, memories and constellations. And celestial imagery and colour imagery are like the things I enjoy writing the most. So I, like I know why these stood out to me. <laughs> okay, so some lines that I didn't like, just for a little comparison. But looking at it now, I think like the imagery of the lines and some of the metaphors are still very good. I just... I'm just going to read them to you. Okay. I see things, then I feel things, and I write them. Do you like living a lie, wearing a mask all the time? Doesn't your face need air? Let your skin breathe in your cheeks for the droplets of rain pool in your pores. Your skin is too clean. I'm undeserving of love, and then at last plays on the turntable, and at last I don't feel alone anymore as I drape my arms over your ghost. So to me, a lot of these more like romance-based poems come off as very melodramatic, but still not really evoking emotion. And it's a really strange combination, but I think that summarises most of my feelings about 19. Okay, so the poems are separated into sections, but the individual poems did not have titles and one like the main issue I had reading this book is that it read a lot more like a novel rather than a collection of poems so having like basically chapter titles but not poem titles like really added to this and then a lot of it felt like reading an angsty teenage diary rather than a novel and I don't know if this is how like the ebook was formatted or if it was something else, but the presentations of the poem were either very like all over the place and I had to keep going back to reread bits and try and work out what it actually said. Or they were like very squashed together and looked more like short stories because they were just in paragraphs rather than how you would like traditionally see a poem formatted. And some of them did just read like a like she had written a sentence and just put enter in a lot of times to make it look more like a poem. And I know that in Jean Beaumont is a thing. I just don't feel like this was that. And also the illustrations of the book didn't help with the formatting because they just sometimes appeared like in the middle of a line and it broke up what was going on and I had no idea where I was meant to be looking. But they're the kind of thing with black pages and white text that in a physical book they would have been like so lovely to look at. Okay, this is a really short review but it's also a really short book so like, what do you want? <laughs> okay, so overall, although a lot of like... Okay, so overall, although certain lines of the book are really quite beautiful, this book 
kind of repeats a lot of tropes of the genre and ultimately fails to evoke emotion. And on Goodreads, I think I originally gave it as three stars because I thought it was okay. And then I think I went down to two stars. Just cause. <laughs> like, I was reevaluating it in comparison to other poetry collections I've read and other books I've read in general. And it was, it was generally more of an okay than a good. I feel bad giving books low reviews. Especially because I'm not really much of a poetry person anyway, so I shouldn't be reviewing poetry collections. But there are some that I do love and I want to get into poetry, but you got to read it to get into it and it just happens that you got to read a lot of things you don't like to get to what you do like. So yeah. Also, if you've read this collection or her other one, which my mind is blank, I, I still don't know what it's called. But like, leave some comments below and let me know what you think, because also I want more opinions. Like, am I, do I, is it just me who doesn't like this? Is there issues for a lot of other readers? But yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.